bring up your homework if you haven't completed. Seven people here. Seven with homework, 100%. Very good. Here are the answers. We'll go back over any alternate stuff at the end after answer 10. Number one, the product of two and the quantity squared of the sum of a number and one. Number two, the difference of nine and the product of two and a number. We'll go. Number three, the sum of six and the quantity squared of the difference of two and a number. Number four, the quotient of the difference of a number and one and two. Number five, the quotient of one and the sum of a number and three. Six, three less than the quantity squared of the sum of a number and two. Number seven, the sum of four and the product of five and a number. Eight, the sum of two and the product of three and a number. Nine, one less than the product of four and the quantity squared of the sum of a number and five. Number 10, the quotient of the sum of a number and 5, and the difference of a number and 1. Today and tomorrow, you have to take the pretest for Algebra 1. This is required for Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. You need a pretest at the beginning of the year and then a post-test in the month of March or late April. Part 1, you can't use a calculator. So you'll have to have the calculator off of your desk, and when you're done with Part 1, you can bring the part one problems to me and then I'll give you part two. When finished come to my desk for a calculator or you can just keep the calculator off of your desk and underneath. The top four scores even though this does not count against you on gradebook you're not going to lose any points on gradebook for this. But the top four scores will get a homework pass that you can use at any time between now and the end of the nine weeks. So do your best on it.